Hi, my name is Vera Onum, and I'm here to present my Soy Moisture Control app for the 2020 Congressional App Challenge. When I was going on a field trip, I noticed that some plants in farms looked dried. At that point of time, I just thought this was because of a drought. But even though a drought can cause plants to look dry, another reason that can cause plants to look dry is if they get a low amount of soil moisture. The amount of soil moisture a plant gets is vital to its growth. So, some problems that farmers face that are related to the amount of soil moisture a plant get are finding the best way to utilize water in case of drought, delivering the right amount of water to a plant at the right time, and monitoring the moisture levels of plant. So my goal was to make an app that can track the moisture levels of the soil and control the motor both automatically and manually. To accomplish this task, I used a combination of software and hardware. On the software side of my project, I used Android Studio to build my app, the Arduino platform to code my hardware components, and Firebase to exchange data between both of these platforms. On the hardware side of my project, I used the Arduino board, a relay module, a water pump, a 9-volt battery, a connector, a flying fish, a solar moisture sensor, and a jumper wire. Here's a quick circuit of my hardware components, and here's a flowchart of my app. My app has three sections, the soil moisture levels, manual control, and automatic mode. When you open the soil moisture levels, you can notice this, you can monitor the soil moisture levels of your plant. In the manual control part of the app, you can manually control your motor through the app, and in the automatic mode, you give control to the computer to water your plant for you. So here's a quick demo on how my app works and all of its functionalities. So here's how my app looks. Now, let's first check our soil moisture level. We can see it's not that good. So what we can do to fix that is we can go to manual control and we can click on the on button. Now here's a quick view of the circuit, the motor, and we can see the water flow. Now not to get too much water, let's turn it off. Now if we can go back and if we can go back and click on the soil moisture levels, we can see that our water level is perfect. But we haven't watered it right. So if we click on automatic mode, we can see it's turning to become perfect. And we can turn on, we can turn off this mode so it doesn't pour any excess water. Now, what did I learn from this project? From this project, I understood how soil moisturization works and the ongoing crisis farmers experience. I got an insight on how Firebase works and how I can use it to get data. And last but not least, I learned how the hardware side of my project works. Improvements that can be made to my app? My app has many improvements that can be made. Some being allowing the user to control multiple areas at the same time, providing the user their watering schedule and when they last water the plant, and wa warning the user when their water level is low. Thank you.